Great. So now, now, we, now that we understand segmentation, let's actually move on to our funnels. It will be the second thing what we're going to explore here. So we're going to go back to the charts and we look at funnels. So funnels is understanding conversion rates through different steps. Uh, a common use case might be something like your onboarding flow, right? So users have to take multiple steps to be onboarded. You want to understand the, uh, the drop-off rate from, uh, from step one to step two to step three and so on. Uh, so in funnel analysis, we were able to select events, put them into kind of sequence of some kind, and then see the drop-off rate from there, right? Uh, for example, we, we, you know, we want to start with uh, add item to cart. Then we want to see users who, um, let's say, uh, I don't know, complete the purchase. Let's take a, a simple two-step funnel here, right? So how many users uh, add to cart? So in here we have uh, 195,000 users. And then in step two, we can see that 89% or 174,000 users actually completed the step. And there were a drop off of about 11% here, right? So very simplified funnel. Um, we can look at events in this order. Typically, this is how most funnel reports work. That is if, a, if you have multiple steps and the user skips step number three, they wouldn't be counted for any steps on the funnel. But we also have a, a, an ability to look at steps in any order, wow, which is very powerful, especially if you have a funnel that actually is not uh, forced to the user. That is, they can actually complete steps in any order. So you have the options. Just like before, we can also filter things here, right? You might want to only want to look at iOS users, for example, right? Uh, who are doing things in iOS. So we filter by a work class on only step one or all the steps. Uh, we have, of course, daily breakdown. We can look at weekly, monthly, last 30 days, all those different things. Let's look at here. This is where that, that daily breakdown comes, right? So we can see the, the, the daily numbers and the different conversion rates here, right? Then the other thing that becomes quite handy here is that we can actually click to inspect here. You'll see that option. So we can actually, for example, you might want to find out, okay, who are this uh, 21,000 users who dropped off here? You can click that, and then we can view the users uh, we can show user perhaps for behaviors. You can download users, right? You might want to download them uh, for the information, send campaigns. So you have a lot of options in terms of how you start to analyze this data, right? Then in terms of other other kind of funnels uh, options here, typically you know the conversion window. Uh, you want to, you want this to complete within 30 days. And here we have minutes, hours, uh, seconds. Uh, you might have you might have a for example maybe. Um, they receive a push notification and you want to take an action from the push notification. So you might want to create a simple, same thing, a two-step, three-step funnel that needs to happen within five minutes, 60 seconds, right, to, to get a good sense. We can see the conversion over time, right? So we see the, the, the overall conversion of the funnel over time, see if that's increasing or decreasing. A time to convert, this is typically also very, a very interesting report to see when you have, uh, if it takes one week or two weeks, or in this case, this funnel is quite long, you know, we might actually want to make this funnel something like one day. And we'll get a much better understanding here in terms of you know uh, how long it actually takes to convert. Frequency, in terms of you know how many times this funnel is being completed. Uh, in this case, this might be the majority of one time, but you might have find some users who complete this multiple times. And then some stuff around A-B tests. Uh, now before that, uh, I just want to show another funnel here. This one. So here we have a, a new user's playing and sharing content. So we have uh, four steps here, right? It's like a song, they play a song, they favor a song, and they share a song. So this is the, the things that can happen in the app. We have our, our funnel here. We can see our drop-off rate. But specifically, uh, we are actually only looking at new users, right? Uh, so this will be users who would just download the app or are new to it, and how they actually go through this sort of critical initial funnel, right? The conversion window is five minutes, uh, and we're looking from the from the first day plus a few other options, uh, depending on uh, the the content ID uh, of the song they're playing, right? So you can see a little bit more advanced here. Uh, in terms of how, how the day gets processed, we still have the same daily breakdown and so on. Right. Something also that's interesting, uh, this little bit, it's, it's, uh, I believe it's still in beta, uh, but this uh, analyzes our idea. So basically, you know, taking all the different uh, properties here available here, the different event properties, user properties, 
and then uh, Ableton will run a little bit analyzer for you to find uh, segments. So you know, a, a segment might be, hey, it turns out that this specific genre of music tends to be completed quite well. So there's people tend to select a song, play it, favor, share it, uh, and that genre is rock. Uh, so you should you know, focus more on rock, that kind of thing. So still kind of running the analysis yourself, the, the analyzer is meant to do that for you. Uh, like I said, still in beta, I think it takes between a few minutes to a couple hours to actually run the analysis for you, but that can be an interesting way to to start to get some insights from uh, this sort of data structure here. All right, and that's it. That's funnels. Now, once we once you have a segmentation, you have funnels. We can move on to uh, the, the third core, sort of core con uh, report that we want to understand, which would be retention. Uh, and those three reports really become the foundation for a lot of analysis uh, and on which you can build more advanced things later on.